911? I am the first person at this party. Hello, 911? I've been lying awake for an hour each night for the past eight months, relieving a two second awkward experience I had in front of a casual acquaintance three years ago. Hello, 911? Is some invisible force going to push me down this flight of stairs? Hello, 911? I was watching that show Greenleaf on the Oprah network and these two characters were riding in a car and having a passionate conversation and dude turned to lady and I was gripped with what can only be described as stomach churning panic as my entire body clenched in anticipation of the car jumping the curb and crashing through the plate glass window of a laundromat because the dude took his eyes entirely off the road for at least 12 seconds. When was the first movie made? 1888? And after all those years of practice, people still can't film a realistic conversation in a moving car. The driver's eyes need to be on the Toyota in front of him, Oprah Winfrey. I'm going to have a fucking stroke. Hello, 911. This takeout place doesn't have online ordering. Hello? 911. Um, which line is moving faster? The one I'm in or the other line? Do you think I should switch? Does it matter? It's not like I have anywhere to be, but just standing here makes me feel like my organs are going to burst out of my skin. I can't prove it, but I think this line is moving incrementally slower. Why does that make me feel like I'm losing a race? Should I just stay where I am or do you think it's okay if I ease over to lane eight in a way that silently telegraphs to the checkout girl? I'm not mad, just having an inexplicable panic attack. Please ignore me. If I move to that other line, will target gods smite me by throwing a clearance rack shirt with a missing price tag into that lady's cart? Why did I even come here? Hello?